please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Mr. Person. Here. Ms. Switchy. Here. Mr. McIrvin. Here. Ms. Perez. Here. Mr. Pavoni. Here. Mr. Corman. Here. Mr. Prince. Here. Roll call, Mr. Mayor, all present. Okay, thank you. And then first thing we have on the agenda tonight is a proclamation for Parks and Recreation Month. Okay. And uh, we accept that. Oh, go ahead. Sure. Proclamation, whereas the U.S. House of Representatives has designated July as Parks and Recreation Month, and whereas Parks and Recreation Programs are an, an, are an integral part of communities throughout uh, this country, including the City of Renton and its Community Services Department, and whereas Parks and Recreation are important to establishing and maintaining the quality of life in our communities, ensuring the health of all citizens, and contributing to the economic and environment environmental well-being of the community and region, and whereas parks and recreation programs build healthy, active communities that aid in the prevention of chronic disease, provide therapeutic recreation services for those who are mentally or physically disabled, and also improve the mental and emotional health of all citizens, and whereas parks, trails, and the urban forestry program increase a community's economic prosperity through increased property values, expansion of the local tax base, increased tourism, the attraction and retention of businesses, and crime reduction, and whereas participation in recreation classes, hikes, events, sports, and swimming programs builds friendships, teamwork, and opportunities to contribute to society, and whereas parks and natural recreation areas improve air and water quality, protect groundwater, prevent flooding, provide vegetative buffers to development, and produce habitat for wildlife. And whereas Renton Parks and Natural Recreation Areas ensure the ecological beauty of our community and provide a place for children and adults to connect with nature and recreate outdoors. Now therefore, I, Dennis Law, Mayor of the City of Renton, do hereby proclaim July 2019 to be Parks and Recreation Month in the City of Renton, and I encourage all members of the community to join me in this special observance. In witness whereof, I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the City of Renton to be affixed this 8th day of July 2019, signed Dennis Law, Mayor of the City of Renton. Mr. Mayor? Yes, Ms. Ritchie? I move that Council adopt the proclamation as read. Second. Moved and seconded that the council adopt a proclamation as read. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Seeing none, the motion passes. And we, tonight we have uh, Gina uh, from Community Services Recreation Department and Travis from Community Services Parks Department to accept it. And if you'll come up front, Jason will present it to you. <laughs> uh, I did want to say that uh, I've really enjoyed working here for the last year. It's been an honor to serve the youth of our uh, city as well as all of my machine pitch kids wanted me to tell you hello. <laughs> so, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and I do enjoy uh, working for the city. Thank hello you very much. You. Okay, next is audience comment. We just have one person signed up this evening and it's Jason and I think he knows, you know the drill, you have five minutes. And So a whole bunch of people are getting sick. I don't know if it's um, from the. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Can you say your name and? Jason Michael Collins, right? And, um, okay. And there's a whole bunch of people getting sick. I don't know if it's from the water or what, because the swimmers that try it, but like I've been seeing it, talking to like people that are on the street, right? They're like, do not have a place to go between the hours of nine and five, right? All the bathrooms are locked up. So I don't know. It's kind of 
pretty nasty, but if it, I don't know if it's in the water or if it's um, something that they're all eating, but it seems like it's going through everybody. I don't, maybe a flu, but um, somebody said it might be the rats. I don't know, right? But um, maybe it's something you want to look into. And uh, um, I found a set of keys in a parking lot. Is it says C200 on it? Is that a city vehicle? Yeah? I don't know. I found a set of keys. I wanted to, um, who do you turn them in? Yeah, you ready? All right. And um, I saw a petition for to know whether, all right, so they're saying they want to make the governor commission over enforcing EEOC standards, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, equal opportunity employment, right, standards. Is Who is in commission of that right now is more of a question than, uh, because uh, I was at Walmart, they had a ballot out, that, but that was the one thing I didn't understand. I was wondering if you guys know who's in commission to enforce EEOC. I looked up, I looked up online, I couldn't find it. Um, does anybody know? I don't know, it's because they slide things into things sometimes and you don't know what they're doing. But anyway, all right, thanks. Thank you. Uh, moving on to the consent agenda. <coughs> does anybody want to remove any items from the consent agenda? Yes, Mr. Mayor, I have two items I'd like to remove. Item I and item J. Second. Item I and J. Mr. Mayor, I move that we accept the uh, consent agenda minus items I and J. Second. We moved and second that we accept the consent agenda minus items I and J. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Mr. Pavoni. Yes, Mr. Mr. Mayor. Um, so we have a couple items tonight. They're both uh, dealing with grants that we're receiving. Um, there are there's some time restrictions. The first one is for um, a grant for the preliminary engineering for phase two of the second, actually, yeah, phase two of the second um, conversion project. Um, and this is something that we need to use or it expires. It's um, the, the um, the group that we get the funding from there has a time limitation so I'd like to move that the council um, concur with the transportation report item I second moved and second that we approve item I all in favor aye, aye. aye. opposed okay item motion. J is motion passed. oh sorry <laughs> item J. I know you want to I get don't. out of here fast so. <laughs> <laughs> item J is the same thing um, the first one was for a million three. This one's for a million five, and this is for the Renton Connector Project. Once again, these are grants that have um, time constraints on them. We need to use them or lose them. Um, I believe July 15th is the deadline. So with that, I would move that the council approve item J. Second. second. Been moved and seconded that the council approve item J. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passed. And that is all, Mayor. Okay, the next thing is uh, unfinished business. Ms. Witchie. No, un no unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Mr. McGurvin. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Ms. Perez. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Pavoni. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Corman. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Who? Mr. Ed. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. That's what happens when you don't have committee meetings. Yeah. <laughs> no business. <laughs> Uh, legislation, Jason. All right, we have one resolution. Resolution of the City of Renton, Washington, approving placement on the 2019 ballot of the countywide ballot proposition for funding the Medic One Emergency Medical Services EMS levy for the period uh, from January 1st, 2020 through December 31st, 2025, pursuant to RCW 8452-69. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Prince. I move the resolution be adopted as read. Second. Second and move. We moved and seconded that the resolution be adopted as read. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. Now we're on to new business and I'm going to take a little executive privilege here because I, I, I want to refer to the uh, administration the uh, speeding on Hauser Way South. They they have put in one of these 25 mile an hour speed limit signs that shows mm -hmm. your speed. And if you go over it, I mean, 
it starts flashing and everybody that goes through it but me it goes flashing <laughs> and for instance I can turn on to how's your way at uh, mill with the light and I can be almost to the bridge and the light will turn green at for the Hauser Way traffic and they'll pass me before I get across a bridge and that sign is just going crazy I and my concern is that it's a 25 mile hour zone you got a park mm -hmm. on either side you got a skateboard park there where kids are playing and, and it just seems to we're having an excessive amount of speed and I don't think that particular speed sign records the higher speeds it just tells you so with that second mm. all in favor aye aye, aye. 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 okay miss switchy uh, no new business mr mayor actually actually I think you do <laughs> oh i'm covering committee of the whole i'm sorry person okay so the committee of the whole will meet on monday july 15th at 5 45 p.m we have four items on the agenda garbage recycling concerns the king county solid waste comprehensive plan briefing homeless response governance system and emerging issues that is all thank you mr mcdurbin thank you mr mayor the transportation committee will meet at 4 15 p.m on monday july 15th in the council conference room there are four items on the agenda uh, first duval avenue northeast 7th street to sunset boulevard project parametrics agreement uh, two rack appointment denine three south 23rd Clo street closure briefing and four emerging issues in transportation that is all mr mayor thank you miss perez Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The Utilities Committee will meet at 4.45 on Monday, July 15, on the Council Conference Room. There are four items in the agenda. First is Cedar River 205 Project Levy Certification Contract Amendment, amendment two Cedar River 205 Project Grant Agreement, three Sustainable Energy, and four Emerging Issues in Utilities. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pavoni. Yes, Mr. Mayor, the Finance Committee will be meeting July 15th at 3.15. We have five items on the agenda. The first is 2019 second quarter budget amendment and amended 2019-2020 fee schedule. The second is 2019 through 2021 landscaping service contract. The third is Costco Healthy Solutions contract for pharmacy benefit management. Fourth is vouchers, and finally, will be emerging issues in finance. And that is all, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Pony. Mr. No new business, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Prince. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Um, the Planning and Development Committee will meet on uh, Monday, July 15th at 2.45 p.m. in the Council Conference Room. We have three items on the agenda. Uh, repeal of docket, uh, repeal of ordinance uh, 5900, wireless communication facilities and rights of way. Uh, number two, docket number 14, and number three, emerging issues in CED. That's all, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. What's the wishes of the council? Move we adjourn. Second. second. It's been moved and seconded that we adjourn. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. You guys.